Hello, and a happy Halloween. For those of you that are new to the YouTube channel of Butterfree Guy, let me introduce myself. I am Robinium, Robin's evil alter ego, and also the evil emperor. <laughs> now, to celebrate Halloween, I had an idea. There are various different villains from many franchises that I look up to and that I inspire myself on. And for this Halloween, I decided to tell you who my top 10 favorite villains of all times are. So, without further ado, let's count down my top 10 favorite villains of all time. Ah, the perfect way to start. My fellow friend and colleague, the Man in Purple. The Man in Purple was first introduced in Tim's Dutch series called Christoph's Mysterieuze Aventure, which basically means Christoph's Mysterious Adventure. He was invented to be Christoph's enemy. But the confrontation between Christoph and the Man in Purple never happened. And that's why the Man in Purple came over to the Butterfree Guy YouTube channel to join my team hope that he could get revenge on Kristoff one day. He's on number 10 of this list because although he's a great friend, there are much smarter villains than him. Walk, walk. Oh, uh, sorry. For number 9, we're going to take a dive deep underwater because number 9 is Plankton. Plankton is a very smart villain who is introduced in the series of Spongebob. He has many ideas to steal the secret Krabby Patty recipe from Mr. Krabs. Although each of his plan has failed as far as I can think. And also his size makes him unable to do big things, so that's why he's on number 9 of this list. Hmm, I might need this egg to explain number 8, Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman was created by Sega as the arch nemesis of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, don't ask me why a psychopathic professor chases after blue speedy hedgehogs, but it doesn't make much sense. So yeah, I guess that's the reason why he's so low on this list, but he's a cool guy after all. He participated in sports at the Olympic Games, and he creates lots of robots to stop Sonic the Hedgehog. Hmm. I should start creating robots one day. Yeah, that's an idea. <sighs> Die, Mario! <sighs> Why won't that plumber get destroyed? Well, anyways, let's talk about number seven. Bowser. Bowser is the ruler of the Mushroom Kingdom, created by Nintendo. Although, I don't really understand why a fire-breathing dragon turtle thing kills plumbers and kidnaps princesses. But, it's a good idea because I've never thought about kidnapping a princess for myself. Hmm. Well... Isn't that Rosalina from the Super Mario series still single? I mean, Daisy's with Luigi, Peach is with Mario. I'll go get Rosalina. Get ready to trick or treat with the next villain! Because number six is the
the Grim Reaper. Although the Grim Reaper exists in many stories and franchises, I am talking about the Grim Reaper from The Sims. The Grim Reaper has been appearing in The Sims since The Sims 1. And so far there are four versions of The Sims, Sims 1, 2, 3 and 4, which means that the Grim Reaper has appeared all these times. The Grim Reaper has also been modernized throughout the years because recently he uses a tablet to kill people and it's kind of weird but he's always been one of my favorite villains because he kills people. No, actually he doesn't kill them. He reaps their souls. Hmm. I need to think of a real killer. Oh, I've got it. Maybe number five will be a real killer. For number five, I have thought of a real killer. One that uses cameras for killing purposes. I'm talking about a rather new kind of villain, Mark Jefferson. Mark Jefferson is one of the villains a lot of people might not have heard about before. He appears in the Life is Strange games. Well, I should say game, because in the prequel of Life is Strange, he doesn't appear. He teaches at Blackwell Academy, which is located in Arcadia Bay in the game. And, well, I won't spoil too much of the plot, but he is the real villain. It's time to get freezing cold with number four. It's the only vegetarian villain that I know. It's Herbert P. Bear. Herbert P. Bear is a polar bear created by the creators of Club Penguin. His main goal is to destroy the island of Club Penguin and to get rid of of all those happy parties that those penguins have. He works together with a crab named Klutzy. Now, a vegetarian polar bear and a crab working together to kill penguins. That's kind of weird. And his favorite food is seaweed pizza. Which fool eats seaweed on their pizza? Makes me hungry for pizza. Number three. The big leader of Team Rocket, Giovanni. Giovanni, the real bad guy. I mean, if you look at Jesse and James, they're not really bad guys. They're more like trying to be bad guys. But Giovanni, he's the real deal. He's all about conquering the world with Pokemon and making profit for Team Rocket alone. And conquering the world, now, that is exactly what my idea is as well. <laughs> Maybe I could work together with Giovanni. Yeah, that's a good idea. But the reason why he's only on number three in this list will soon become clear. For number two, we are talking about a villain who can charge electronic devices with his nose. Well, at least the resemblance is kind of clear between these two. I'm talking about Lord Voldemort. Voldemort. He is the true bad guy, the one I adore the most. With his powerful magic, he will kill any muggle or wizard that gets in his way. That's also kind of the reason why I am wearing a cape, because then I look like Voldemort a bit more. Now, I'm not capable of using magic, but I would make a great Death Eater if Voldemort would ever accept me in his team. <laughs> Where's my Death Eater acceptance letter? I'm still waiting. Time for number one. Robin. No, 
Robin may not be a villain to everyone, but he's a villain to me. He's my worst nemesis. Although, we kind of look alike. I mean, my face looks completely like him. I even wear the same glasses as him. But I didn't want to be like him. That's why I'm wearing this cape. To make at least somewhat of a difference. I became Robin's nemesis. Because he humiliated me in the first ever episode of his comedy show. From that moment on, I plan to kill Robin and ruin his comedy show. Now, the killing part at work, the ruining the comedy show part, hasn't quite succeeded yet. But we will get there. We will get there.